Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get a solo public session in about five minutes or less. It's one of the easiest ways that works for all the different systems. This has been done confirmed on PlayStation 4. I've seen it done on Xbox, and since the system is so similar, it should work on the PC too. Now, solo public sessions or solo lobbies or private public lobbies, whatever you want to call them, they are incredibly valuable now, given the amount of updates that Rockstar have done that require you to be in public lobbies. And in case you guys have been living under a rock, public lobbies in Grand Theft Auto Online are not the friendliest. Whether you have players griefing you or if you're on the PC, you have modders that can get into your game and you know, you know, know, pin objects against you and destroy you over and over again. So needless to say, for or business ventures or whether you just want to be alone in a public lobby this is incredibly valuable now big thanks to my friend shark who actually showed me how to do this when he told me about this earlier today I was like man that seems really easy because all the solo public session methods I've seen so far have either been really complicated or have required you to like mess with your router settings and I don't want to do that I just want something that I can do quickly in game and then get ready to go so big thanks to him he also helped with some of the recording which is awesome too so the first thing you need to do is go to a full public session so you want to make sure there's like 20 people 22 people 28 people get a full public session then what you want to do is create a playlist with one contact mission now in case you're curious how to add a contact mission to a playlist the easiest way to do that is to play it first and then simply quit so what you can do is load up a mission like a titan of a job and you don't even have to play it. you as soon as you start it up you can just hit find new session and then you're good to go now as soon as you do that once you're creating the playlist you'll be able to add the mission under recently played jobs and that's the only one you need to add so what I've done is I basically just created this playlist I titled it solo and then we just added a Titan of a job that was the only thing that we ended up doing there now once you're inside the playlist what you need to do is kill yourself twice if you do it on normal you'll get two lives so what you want to do is kill yourself twice and that will actually end the playlist itself since it's only one job and it's only one playlist now from there what you want to do is hit like like or dislike or no vote it doesn't matter once you get to this ending screen and then from there what you want to do is hit restart now once you hit restart it's gonna take you into this weird kind of limbo phase where you're at the starting line for the next mission or for a Titan of a job all over and over again and if you actually click down on the d-pad you will see you're in a public lobby all by yourself but we're not done yet you're gonna be put at the mission screen again because you chose to restart. And then this is where things kind of get tricky. So you're gonna to have to follow along with me here. Now this will require one other person to be in Grand Theft Auto Online, but assuming you have crew members or friends on, this shouldn't be all that hard in order to accomplish. What you wanna do is get a friend, either on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or PC, to send you an invite to a similar job. So for example, a mission like a Titan of a job. Now, once they ex uh, send you that invite, what you wanna do is actually accept it. Now, once you accept the invite, you'll see a screen like this that says, are you sure you want to join a different GTA Online session? Progress will be automatically saved. Now, once you see a message like that, this is where you're gonna have to start communicating with your friend. Once you see that, tell your friend to leave the menu for a Titan of a job, then accept both alert messages that you're gonna receive. So you kinda of have to do this simultaneously, otherwise it might not work, but once you get it down and once you get good communication with your friend, you should be good to go. So once you do that, you should hit accept. You'll get a quick error message saying you weren't able to connect to the session, which is obviously true because your friend disconnected. And then boom, you'll be placed into the public lobby and you should be the only one there. Now I have seen other methods that like require you to join friends or try and join friends through the friends list menu. And I didn't have any luck with that. That wasn't working for me. However, this method works worked over and over and over again. 
which is really great. That's something you obviously want to do. You want, you know, if you do it, you want it to work. And then obviously from there, you're good to go. You can do whatever you want with the lobby. You can choose to do import export stuff, biker stuff, CEO finance and felony stuff. Some of the more recent uh, DLCs like the gun running stuff or the uh, hangar smugglers run stuff. Uh, you can pretty much, like I said, do whatever you want. So what I'll do in the description is I'll actually try and type out the steps so that if looking at something is a little bit easier for you, I know that that was for me, like in school, I'd rather have someone like write the instructions down, put them in front of me, than someone talk to me and try and figure out what it is from there. I'm not exactly sure what kind of learner I am in regards to that, but I know there's a term for it. So I'll try and do that in the description, but that is pretty much it. And like I said, you're, you're pretty much good to go from there. You can use that playlist and that method over and over and over again, at least until Rockstar patch it, because they probably will, because we know they're the anti-fun squad and they want you to lose all your money, your cargo, your packages, whatever the case is in public sessions. But anyways, that's all the information I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy and hopefully you found that helpful. If you have tried this, let us know in the description. Let us know what platform you're on, what console you're on. Did it work? Did it not work? Although it should work because I did this a couple times and it worked every single time. But anyways, that's all I've got for you guys in this video today. If you did go and enjoy a like rating would of course be awesome. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily GTA 5 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.